Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm gonna take you on another shopping trip. Um, I had to go out of town. When I say out of town, I mean like 50 minutes, 50 minutes away. Um, so it's not like my usual stomping grounds. So I thought I'd take you guys around to some of the stores that I'm going through and um, seeing if we can find some good plant deals or plant item deals. And yeah, I think it'll be kind of fun. So let's see what we can find. The plants look really good so far. Nothing that I want. These look interesting. Hmm, those are interesting. You guys, I found a Hoya. This looks like Hoya Australis. think about it because I already have one of these. We'll see. Here's the big section. Long fibered. I don't know if this is the right one. I'm kind of looking for the sheet moss. Here we go, sheet moss. Yay. I'll well, go get two packs. Two. So I ended up putting the Aust Hoya Australis back because I already have two at home. Um, I found it to be difficult to do that because you hardly see Hoya in big box stores. Um, a lot of times when they come in, they're gone as quick as <laughs> as quick as they get in there. So I don't know why I felt it difficult, but I put it back and then I just got the sheet moss and I didn't see anything else that I was interested in at Home Depot. So I'm going to move along um, and I think next I'm going to head to Dollar Tree over here to see if they've got their seeds set up, their seeds out, and we'll see what they have. All right, so let's head over. All right, so Dollar Tree was kind of eh. They only had like two like displays of seeds they were very small there wasn't a ton there but i also didn't need a ton of what they had um there wasn't anything that i didn't already have at home i just grabbed a couple of um duplicates to back up the seeds that i already have that um, are packets that are already open from last year um, so like the bush beans which we love the bush we love bush beans um I got some, I always buy zinnias, I always buy packs of zinnias, especially um, if there's some I don't already have, but I like to have backup of those, and I plan to do a ton of zinnias this year, like way more than the last two years. This year will be the year of the zinnia, I cannot wait. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to head over to Walmart because it's like right 
a hop, skip, and a jump over here. So I'm gonna go over there and see what they have. Um, I'm looking at Walmart for um, the Costa Farms plant. So I'm looking for one. Um, I can't think of what it's called, but it's got these big round black leaves. Um, I think it starts with a G. There's no way I'd be able to pronounce it without looking it up, and I'm not gonna do that at this second. But that's what I'm looking for over at Walmart, and I'm also gonna see if they have their seed display out. And yeah, so let's go check them out. It looked like they got too cold. Look how pretty that leaf is. Looks like cold damage. That calathe. Found some more plants. Yeah, it's too cold over here for these guys. But look at this, oh my goodness. to get this one for the variegation. Alright guys, so I did end up getting the Ficus Altissima from Walmart. Um, usually I, it had like some damage to the foliage. Usually I would ask for a discount on something like that, but there is absolutely no one working back there. And I wanted to just get in and get out because there was nothing else that I wanted to buy from Walmart. Um, so I just bought it at regular price which bugs me because there was you know there's some issues with it but anyway I want to see if that variegation will continue to show up in the foliage um it I don't know if it is stable or not um the new foliage that was coming out looked to be like the regular foliage um but that variegation was so cute I want to see if it will continue on so I went ahead and got the plant. Um, one of the things that I do check when I'm going to the stores is, is for plants with variegation, like like random variegation like that. Or, you know, I'm always looking for like a variegated monstera or a, um, you know, variegation of any kind that's, that is not normal to that plant if that makes sense so that was one of that was one of them um but now i'm gonna go into lowe's and see what they have in here uh, one of the things that i'm looking for are hoyas um i know there's been sites of variegated hoyas um at home depot so uh, home depot and lowe's so i'm gonna go in here and see what they have and then check for any other types of plants that they have we'll see um other than that i don't really need a 
much else from Lowe's. And yeah, so let's go ahead and so this Lowe's that I went into was playing music so loud that I decided to cut the audio for it because I didn't want YouTube to flag it. But anyways, they had a really big selection of plants. As you can see, most of them looked wonderful. Just like so much selection now Granted, I have a lot of the selection that they had, but I like to see that in stores. I like to see just a wide range of things, even if it's not something that I'm going to buy. I just like to go and look. They've got tons of Costa Farm stuff. And I want to just say like Costa Farms is really doing their thing right now making these rare rare ish plants available to the masses like i absolutely love that so much like i mean just making the playing fields level and i love that we shouldn't have to spend you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars to have you know the house plants that we love So they had a really, really big clearance section here that was so tempting to me. Like I almost got several things, but come to find out everything was covered in spider mites or some other suspected plant issue that I decided to just not, not bring anything home with me. My plant hoard is stable right now. We're not having any over-the-top plant issues with pests. Everything is, you know, we're, we're, we're coasting right now. So, yeah, these palms were covered in spider mites. I almost got one of those, but I'm like, I can't, I can't. I don't have the energy to take on a plant full of spider mites right now. I just, I can't do it. So yeah, I I left the store with nothing, which was surprising. The calatheas were covered in spider mites. Just make sure you do your checks before you bring these plants home. Guys, flip over the leaves, check for spider mites, check for thrips, check for any sort of fungal issue. But yeah, I didn't get any plants. To Sam's Club. This might be my last stop, but here I'm looking for my bulbs. I'm looking for caladium, dahlia, and elephant ear. Hopefully they have some stuff in. If not, then I'll have to come back like another time. But yeah, so that's what I'm looking for in here. Hey guys, so I just left um, Sam's Club. They did not have the bulbs or tubers or anything like that. So I will have to go back at another time. Sometime in February, hopefully they'll still have some left. But right now I'm going to run into Menards real quick and see what they have. I don't often shop at Menards. Um, so we'll see. Menards had such a great selection of seeds, you guys. Just so much. I forgot about, like, I hardly go here. So every time I go in, I'm just, like, amazed at everything that they have. Like, it's a brand new store. But I will be back in probably 
mid spring to Menards. I don't if I can get what I need other places I typically do. So I just stopped at one last greenhouse before I go home. Um, they didn't have anything that I didn't already have or didn't or wanted. So I'm heading home and then we'll check the bounty when we get there. Yay! So remember when you're bringing houseplants out in the winter from the stores, make sure that you are wrapping them up and keeping them nice and protected from the cold winds and the cold air in your car. So right now I'm just double checking to make sure I didn't bring home a pest ridden plant. I didn't see anything. I think this plant is just suffering from living in Walmart. I've got my sheet moss to do my mounting of my other staghorn. I got some seeds from Dollar Tree. I'm so excited. Don't sleep on Dollar Tree, you guys. Their seeds are perfectly fine. They grow well. I got me a couple pots that I can't wait to use these. And that's it. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today. And I'll see you in the next video.